It's for us or for you? Uh, for you, but I don't. That might be all we have. So. Okay, that's all good. You have paper for yourself. Yeah, I have a lot of paper. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, I sent one. The advantage of Taiwan war, wars in Taiwan, Asia, and so is collapsed U.S. primacy. The current approach to containment only makes hostilities more likely. Accommodation is key here. In 19 times, presumably a Jemmy, not soon as a hostile of Jemmy, not times, good United States, and Nikita, rest of PV, peaceful resistance, overlapping SY, China, time, time, systems, I was never trying to definitely tell an American military person, let the person aim. I contain China, China, recognize domination, not to go Beijing, since the modern model, and China, the military has primary powers, the for military ventures, and the economic interference of prevailing neighbors have a recent challenge, China, 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 not so power, but I think it's one relative choice. Capability, we can see position. Company budget here at power. This allows you to not the chance of being turned in. Most station Alice Burger's concern of watching as a sense of the security of just false head to the center of ability. The work done as watching ability and when it's somebody promising reinforced Beijing the leaf of the United States to keep it subordinate. That was to increase the chance of aggressive posture. Hostile Germany could bomb a self fulfilling prophecy. The watchers to the escalate and pursue a long term to bubble balance of power. Apt in accommodation spirals escalate to military complex. When 19th section is in your life, the new China crest of fair result. Taiwan chance growth in military economic power. Um, the decline US military power up to a venture cannot sell rough hair to cause China to overestimate the leverage on Taiwan cause United States to overreact. Of the red line with a reach around the sentiment is calculated to escalate into test around the resolve of the could be a military combat. This should lead to a stable amount of Asia diffusion of a common mutual accommodation. Ending arms is ending arms sales is key. Other options fail because China cares about Taiwan way more than the US does. Gomez and 15, the air was born for Chinese domestic politics. Taiwan trade sense from the trade will be unsustainable. That's trying to prove military ready. The ground power of the Chinese military attention even most of forces in the world. The quality of managed military and by the United States. We've been affordable Chinese students. A to AD complicates your ability to predict power. That's option. They're preventing wars. The demon strategy accommodation institutes a dollar for comps voting. Establish mutual trust. A hard arms sales benefit your China religion by moving major supply for developing by Military sales does not mean the Taiwan's self defense force would cease. It's the Chinese foreign policy. Beijing signals its commitment to accommodation. America does not mean the other viable alternatives when in conflict. Increasing military spending would be difficult to sustain. Any conflict Taiwan trade will lead to major war use in China and to American weapon purchase. Green negotiation with China. Recent arms sales are a red line. They inflame China's nationalism while cementing cementing containment. That's Lee and 19. Taiwan's new plan calls for the military balance of for defense offense by Duke on Trump punch on unprecedented willingness to escalate time with China. The self executing may be the lands will be an indication that Taiwan events critical US strategy, keeping the PLA confined to the first time China would be sitting below to G's plan. G plan the unification was a historic jazz. G is being criticized. The limited the party will not survive the loss of Taiwan. If the US goes ahead with F 16 Vs, the pressure on the president will be immense. Crisis over Taiwan draws the US laser eleven. China considers Taiwan to about unification means a key goal. China will use force of Taiwan to close in advance because China places such high value on Taiwan. The issue poses special dangers. Crisis over Taiwan can easily escalate to do more because each time I see rational United States find itself under pressure break Taiwan against attack crisis on a forward China says find itself. Following events and moving to moving to Chinese military capabilities, make Beijing more willing to escalate. That war goes nuclear because Chinese conventional nuclear forces are intermingled. How much? NET. Chinese increased pressure on Taiwan military accommodation. Chinese campaign against Taiwan seems plausible. China has nuclear weapons intermingled with conventional forces. Made difficult to attack one without the other. The general pressure escalated. If you use operation danger, Chinese nuclear forces. Chinese leaders might think that Washington aims beyond the conventional war. Beijing might conclude the nuclear escalation was viable. More some recent flashpoints. Taiwan, China could decide that its winner for gaining control is closed and launch an attack. U.S. anti submarine campaign covers boomers, leading the Chinese leaders unsure. I understand sense of vulnerability. Favor your strategy when gender Chinese nuclear arsenal. Wartime developments could. China's to establish U.S. intention based on nuclear escalation, a way to end the conflict. China use nuclear weapons to destroy U.S. air base. If such escalation appears more fast, history suggests otherwise. Reducing arms sales signals U.S. threat reduction and reverses the perception of containment. Gilly and Ted Washington scale back to arms sales. Debo tries to call by Washington reinforce the detente as a rejection of the vision of Taiwan's military states without U.S. on the U.S. strategic order by signaling that uh, Washington is respecting China's territorial sovereignty, which leads to force reduction by China as well as an end to Taiwan focused military drills. That finalized Taiwan would improve the chance of peace rising China. Taiwan created a model for peaceful resolution of China's mini conflict throughout Asia. Thus, the plan: the United States federal government should implement a substantial reduction of direct commercial sales and foreign military sales of arms in the United States to Taiwan. We should use debate to hash out what alternative foreign policies look like. It is more productive than pure resistance, and there is a unique opening for ideas to take hold. Our method provides necessary preparation. Show on any team. Superficial dialogue, military first, also military last. When more than similar reflexivity, the left could feel the vacuum is better situated than conventional wisdom suggests. In a time of missteps on the part of Trump, this face of question America's foreign policy may be widening the default position. The left is the best foreign policy. It's a good domestic policy. Question of intervention have no foreign bridge of pacifism. The government has no organized political presence. That's also escapes interrogation. Offers a refusal principle that for justification. The critical analysis of defense is left to technical law, which has limited ability to engage people. Press on the rest of the importance of discussion. 
anti military doctrine and said, Should propose question about development? What should America do now? Think the gap between the Republic and the line of anti militarism in practice means a knowledge of opposition between the yes and no, and no never. It's essential that the left become a void of becoming a character to itself that promotes civilization, reach an unserious standard and antipathy, leaves the left out of the composition, and breaks active participation beyond the water's edge, that's how make national security more democratic and accountable. Making impactful contributions demands causal policy relevance and methodological pluralism. That is the only way to draw accurate contextual conclusions and prevent violent, imprecise reification. Dash the 19. I critique the tendency to embrace methods for their own sake rather than because they help us questions intellectual culture commit to methods not because they will eliminate relevant policy problems, but because it does have a particular image to the cost of society, academic expertise, maybe make decisions. The independent policy analysts is essential to challenge basic policy assumptions, undertake research, but does not take the military for granted. The myths that use may be wrong. Academic social scientists are particularly well suited. They have time to develop greater depth, attend to them, frame to explore controversial issues, to political systems, based on groups, offsetting each other's limitations. Vietnam, Iraq has lost influence policy. National security would have been better served. No arrangement with obvious security. That's not that a contact with the problems. It is not what the contact is presumed to solve. The political science need to rethink how bad rigor with the apparatus of application of best approach to methodological pluralism, which uses not any particular method, but the, the approach most appropriate for the question. Reinforcing pluralism may be a commitment to problem rather than a method driven research. While the theory is important, too much can be bad. Effort to create complexity of the world, social world, and universal models can do intellectual lines of phenomena under studies, plus produce suboptimal policy, oversimplification, through a sense dangerous universal model can risk relevance, or is not academic transition, are no substitute for scholars who produce knowledge to themselves. Or sure, as translation of policy activists need to develop a nuanced appreciation and influence on policy. So starting with the policy action in the U.S. is critical dismantling systems of colonization and militarism. The plan is key to stopping myths about the Asia Pacific and empowering local resistance. Prefer affirmation to pessimistic critique. It's the only way to get movements off the ground. Davis and 15. Pursuing decolonization through affinity is far stronger strategy because it advises include inclusion by direct militarists and colonization movements can expand networks based on affinity. Another factor taken into account when examining the project transcending hegemonies or world destroying or myths and producing new ones. The Pacific is not the uh, tip of someone else's spear. Decolonization, demilitarization, but on solidarity, support from the outside region. The problem with getting the U.S. government to change is that so few U.S. citizens are aware of what is current. The most important first steps are demilitarized future is educating people. What is needed is an ever expanding circle of affinity that focuses on the common desires. Policy to be more focused on common possibilities for emancipatory political projects and on exploring why larger social posts will always question. There's a moral imperative for activists to explore new alternative visions. Seeds can be planted for intellectual international policy. That rejects relationship with domination, or is it easier to imagine the end of the world and the end of hegemony? Scenario planning is pedagogically valuable. Analyzing how policies might otherwise be um, is vital to critical reflexivity and breakdown. Dharma, Barbara, all 16, the occult of irrelevance of local science has been lamented. Generation of substance to research pregnant that policy relevant, typically seen as serving core planning or policy, yet yeah, it's not inherently in the city's uses of charge, it's pricing yet possible futures. Alternative words that are explicitly not forecast or projection based on linear extrapolation, not hypothesis based expedition or simulation to depiction of possible future takes the world together with driving policy horse to lead to the future making scenario as a particular useful ability to imagine level of preferred discontinuity to by the existing to walls and math well and conquered by tendencies such a group in combination by scenarios help individual pick up financial modes of thinking and match alternate fortune of future world through a structural analytic process enables plus to make it to envision thereby adapt to something altogether different than no present day before looking that in regards to great empirical importance participants in the current strategy for having failures or continuity overturning their assumptions that prevents policy analysts from anticipating and understanding understanding the intricacies of politics the state and the military is a prerequisite to address the impression of Ryan and 12. We need to answer the question of military logistics. What things that pose a war machine captured by several lessons, supply lines, communication, or its people? I've heard discussion complete and different to military logistics. The entire point is the math of supply lines that pose a war machine. Your social strategy seems to be uh, ambulance or critique or debunking. We know there have been a number of big enough critiques of war machines that have things changed. We want to critique those reasons of people. They can receive it because it's expressed in the foreign language of academics. There are other cultural factors not discursive, propositional, semiotic, is a combination of nervous, political, and really wonder how you get there. Part of changing a social order class actually involves intervening material renders. The hardest part requires activists to be something more than a critic. Arms sales are part and parcel of U.S. threat construction of China. The one I see disrupts that circulation through analysis of alternative institutional range. And Sterling Folker and Chico O5 reality was repented on begins with the US and the PRC book concerned with financial damage. They seek to balance power over to a venue the advantage of the combination of regional domination. Time I began the cornerstone of US contaminated Asia. The US and the forces that strain this triangle relationship is replete with the strategy to turn calculation. US attempts to pass by China while also containing China from the most modern perspective. Power is already at play in realist analysis. Power is implicit in the exercise of the very realist version of reality and determination of virtues while simultaneously reduced as knowers of the world, disciplines us to know the world. And with certainty, realism is established by realism, natural security, and grid establishment of the order whereby security and welfare are conflated with states to justify violence. It's not that postmodern have any move beyond power, but rather that have shift the focus, the knowledge power grid through which we are into the world of I have the question of the single re- uh, version of reality post the world via realist politics. One size is a deconstructed representation of use in terms of off a primordial contrast between good and evil, such a frame over simplified complexity, encouraging factors, categories, actions, either or. These types are followed down, but continue to need a chance. It's not that the stage is relevant to postmodern concerns. We must locate the sites of contestation. We must locate the sites of contestation. Cool. You good? Yeah. We can agree that debate doesn't resolve the conflict in Taiwan. What are the benefits of matching that world? Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't do the plan, but we do think that there is a benefit to alternative foreign policies in imagining what those are. What, what is that benefit? Well, we think that we made a unique disclaim that kind of Trump's polarization of foreign policy has, a, has allowed a space for leftist academia to fill. The problem is that in the SWO, leftist academia is concerned with broad structural criticism instead of specific policies like the one I see. The, the, wait, that, the AF fills that gap. Wait, so here's my problem with that. You said that the AF 
doesn't literally get enacted. So it's not this specific Matter. policy get that just gets transported. Yeah, yeah. But it's that broadly we learn these skills. And then you're like, but we need specific policies. I, don't know. I feel like we're kind of like agnostic as to whether like the AF itself is enacted. But our argument is that the AF is part of a larger political project so, that can mobilize this research community towards something greater than just ourselves. Okay, we think that's so valuable. If the question but, is mobilizing those purposes. I mean, um, if all debate does is create a network of well-informed, empathetic individuals, we think that's good. Okay, perfect. Um, the top of the one I see starts with war is inevitable. Uh, what is war? Uh, well, in the context, and there's not one definition of war, but here is describing a conflict in which and okay. tall Mitch, that we would conventionally strike Chinese nuclear subs, but China would perceive that as a nuclear first strike, which means there would be an incentive for them to respond with a nuclear attack. Obviously, that's not wait, a wait, one. Wait. We strike why? Uh, our evidence says that we would strike conventionally to, because they would navally blockade Taiwan. Okay, and that occurs, like, why does removing F, like, whatever the fighter jets mean that we It's not just fighter jets. We, we reduce arms sales overall. It's not just offensive arms. But the reason is that China, the reason that China wants to blockade Taiwan is because they perceive their window of opportunity closing. So like because the United States has like hundreds of like investments in Taiwan. Why does that not mean they get drawn in? What? what? No, we don't have any troops there. We don't have a base there. No, not there. like troops, but like economically. I guess. Like I don't think China really cares about like Private it's not ties. China, but it's like the question of the U.S. getting drawn in. You said that the oh, U.S. Okay. Has no oh, incentive. Well, first is that the conflict never occurs, so there's nothing to be drawn into. Second is that— and Why would conflict not occur? They would still because, blockade Taiwan. Correct? No, they wouldn't, because there's, the, the reason they blockade Taiwan is try to preempt the United States and in reaction to arms sales. Our evidence draws a link between those two. Even okay. then, let's say China occupies fair, Taiwan. Fair. Um, the tears. The There are independence movements in Taiwan now. What happens to them post that? I don't, we haven't read any cards about independence movements. I'm just wondering, like, what happens to them I don't, post that? We haven't made a claim one way or the so other. So you don't know. Perfect. Uh, the last part, why doesn't Taiwan want reunification now? Why doesn't Taiwan or why doesn't China? No, why does Taiwan not want I mean, there's a, there's a variety of different reasons. I think one of the reasons is that Taiwan thinks unification would mean that China would completely occupy them. Okay, we don't well, think that's the then, scenario post-act. Then what's the other, like, reverse of that? Why does China want reunification? Well, what China, we, we've read a piece of Gilly evidence that cites Finlandization and says that would be most likely the result of the app. And that no, no, why do they want it? Like, why do they care so much about Taiwan? I mean, for a variety of reasons. Like you said, part of it is strategic calculations. Part of it is to balance against the United States. Part of our argument is that universal reasons about state you know, descriptions. We've read several cars that those kind of universalized models. We provided a specific claim about the app reducing the risk of miscalculation. Perfect. Do you want to use this? of warfare has disappeared through the reappearance of military informatics, logistics, and digitalization. Warfare does not operate for the desire of an ethical field of relations, but simply because it's obviously the reappearance of warfare is a perpetual upgrading of battle space and potential that predetermines all liberal masses of resistance. Warfare is not an event. It does not take place in some traditional understanding of the happening of events. Rather, warfare is your community point that produces not just armies, weapons, and tactics, but the real world itself. The one you see switching away of warfare, the, the process of the great time wars is outdated. Warfare is always this over in 19. The real world begins with the invention of an archimedean point outside the world. Does not matter what human beings will have seen in terms of the world together. They will leave out of it while in the course of reality, the original battlefield structures disappear. As the result of the entire military battle, the kind of kind of the battlefield reappears, reflecting the military attempts to model space and time to arrange direction of new weapons systems, social interpretation, and influence targeting, and the remains of the battlefield medieval warfare attention. Attention was they employed to start the target was cooperative. The target was to put your army in the field, even though it was in the context of the level of the land. The battlefield explains 
the target shows for the enemy in the field. Too much of production is established. This is quoted. She's a good chip for which far out was taken with the hatred towards the battle. This is a good chip for which that's what we need to play. But the use which is in the danger, use the choice of the military, 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 the
the Roman says, 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 the Roman says,
Well, the argument is that post F, China will get. But you've already said that cooperation is locked in because of deterrence. The F no, 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 is no, not no, cooperation. No, deterrence does not mean cooperation is locked in. Well, it, it gives examples of cooperation over peacekeeping operations. No, it, so just, that's, it just says that the plan is the next step in fulfilling the kind of conception of harmony that we've theorized. Well, your, your why is that? We haven't read a spillover piece wait, of no, evidence. Your, your last piece of evidence proves that because it says that no longer should the United States and China be considered as like good yeah, and bad off. It doesn't make it really, off. So this is but, now a non-unique DA about us what? spilling over? No, to, it's a question of your scholarship in this round. We said that you yeah. have literally read eight minutes of China killing a bunch of Uyghur people good. No, and we said what? that's bad. How? What is the link between that like because you said unification would be good and unification we in Taiwan. Yeah, well, we we say it occurs through Finlandization, which is different than the Uyghur province. Wait, like you have no. no we said that the people within Taiwan get murdered post plan. Okay, yeah, like, well, that, that would be bad. Ten minutes. Uh, case K. Arms of Taiwan are the cornerstone of the U.S.'s hostile containment strategy towards China. They violate China's territorial legitimacy, which is a nice backlash and worst-case assumptions spurs both sides towards militarization and increases the risk of miscalculated conflict over the strait. That's here, Swain and Tao Match. Our discussion in this round itself is valuable. There is a window for progressive foreign policy uh, to, to reshape itself and uh, gain traction. Trump has created space by polarizing foreign policy between the hawks who endorse intervention and the pacifists who oppose all militarism. The AF fills that discursive space with a more nuanced advocacy that can uh, gain traction. It is specifically true for hegemonic competition in Asia. Sites like debate are crucial to working through, through alternative arrangements of institutional politics, but knowing the complexities of policy is key, which is the reason we can solve the critiques impacts. That is Shulman and Davis, but policy analysis is key to getting through the door problem or into the approaches centered around how the world ought to be or preferable to method-based or to individual stances. Only our method creates the informed advocates necessary to uh, change the world. That's Desh and Brian. The critique proper, weigh the app against the alt, any other interpretation is arbitrary and moves to 1 AC, which undermines fairness and clash to inter internal links to education and strategy that also uh, turns their center. Scenario planning is good. It's key to deconstruct cognitive biases and act on imperfect information necessary for the exportability of any political strategy. Even the alternative scenarios allow you to draw a uh, different bias of scholarship to strategize how to change the world. Uh, that's part of it. Uh, I'll bring their critique of scenario planning to the top. This is, this is uh, about the status quo notion of scenario planning used for corporate planning. That is not what the affirmative uh, does. We have used scenario planning to justify a non-hegemonic policy and read a bunch of evidence about how we can retool foreign policy and retool corporate planning against, against itself, which the also word evidence does not assume 
and especially given this not in the context of the affirmative the uh, impact outweighs VTL uh, and structural violence are subjective and contingent of a nuclear war and extinction operating on a prior ethical plane to the loss of a future value and anything strategizing against that thing those things are good permutation do both either the alt overcomes the links or it's insufficient to resolve the myriad of problems with the status quo prefer methodological pluralism using different modes of analysis for international relations and warfare to decide the best course of action in specific context is better for organizing against violent policy therefore choice over simplifies complex institutional decisions into all or nothing framing which uh, causes violent reification of the same impacts they uh, try to solve the K can explain the app and our representations are in line with this Sterling Fulkerson's analysis of state-based policies as a prerequisite to effective representational critique in the context of Taiwan uh, and China the war uh, the argument the, the war thesis at the top there's no link at first the war turns uh, the church, but war turns all forms of violence makes exploitation and oppression worse even after the uh, actual militarized conflict and second is the permutation solves the alt inclusion focuses on other forms of warfare there's no trade-off between saying war can be one thing and when that does not preclude from being another that was when I see cross we have not defined more which is a, a miscalculation a specific miscalculation within the US and China would be bad there is a spectrum of violence uh, this is not a reason the affirmative is bad their theory of their theory of no war is wrong as Hobbes us uh, exposure is not helping us to go for because it reduces complex issues to simulation risk and the concrete determines the seeds are some uh, deterministic essentialism their observable social institution their practice of producing some kind of the solutions are not in for analysis when the are dissected by critical analysis of recontextualization is possible and there it does can be uh, traced back to the government span by assessing the veracity of being text war can be dictated to his antecedents and uh, consequences searching for critically informed uh, explanations the, chi- the uh, Norton stuff about China being bad first they're framing the US as the agent of good against China which is what they do by endorsing arms sales is a double term with other scholarship second their assertion uh, is false and a tool of colonialism saying 18 claim that China went to the world and technical US values that were actually increasing increased increase military pressure to construct alliance with the right wing governments that the US rhetoric calls to mind racist yellow pair found the indication of the consensus around the China threat theory that uh, China's political orientation has been shaped by historification of foreign powers and the imperial struggle for national liberation China has always identified South as collective struggle of oppressed nations against imperialism promoting greater safe for developing uh, for developing countries uh, sorry uh, my computer froze thank you yeah. sorry about that Okay. oh it went, it went back sorry about that Unlike the U.S. which engaged in destructive foreign intervention, China advised by non-interference and self-determination indispensable for nations resisting foreign domination in China's relations and prompted Washington to accuse China of being an imperial power that the China is praised by for fierce independence of the global self-reveals the absurdity of such claims the U.S. seeks to restrict a developing nation China's China's challenge use imperialism and suffers the potential for pro- progressive uh, progressive advances. Security that limit is the best way of analysis for China to figure out ways to compensate for international uncertainty is necessary for emancipatory goals. It cannot just be wished away. Booth, uh, oh wait, we're we'll policy for any individual uncertainty and uncertainty going for centuries is to be intense and global and multi-level and multi that the remaining key issues would likely be subject to security dilemma the dynamics and how it's amenable to analysis in terms of relevant frameworks and context of these dynamics impact the real size of power and balance across the globe and so the prospects for building world security will challenge for policymakers and scholars can and marginalize the insights and prescriptions offered by uh, security dilemma theorizing we do believe that traditional agenda should be approached through the perspective of critical rather than orthodox problem of uh, solving theorization of serious security studies during the era of globalization is produced its own golden nation is necessary to re- 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 research in the deeper understanding of the relevance of the world politics and the realities the security dilemma is fundamental to this is an argument for plurals and mark card uh, at plural is uh, mark card at pluralism, the uh, val- invalid descriptive understanding of the world are an essential prerequisite to emancipatory critique and episodic decolonization, which turns their thesis of war and the alternatives moves to uh, the, the, the alternatives moves that the, uh, uh, Jones afforded re- rejection of positivism is in the extent of rejection of science, a uh, rejection of science itself. The important not to come into constant knowledge with the social conditions, production, and uses of a world where science was a fundamental defeat to satisfy human needs and concern, collateral resources, and quite different discoveries uh, might be quite different discoveries might be made to the extent that the objective knowledge provides a better, more adequate account of reality than other ideas. It's quite our critique exposing what is wrong with dominant ideology. Criticism arises from exposing the flaws of dominant ideology through a more adequate account of the nature and cause of the social condition. The norm of convincing uh, the oppressed must tell commitment to truth and objectivity. The true ideas are in the interest of the oppressed. Some groups have a vested interest in missing the way society works. Real theory of the science provides an alternative response to the relationship between, uh, between knowledge and power, but the result is fundamental problems fall up with about, about the world of Norton 14. Evidence the abstract all or nothing debate of China's intentions. We analyze a specific context in which uh, China acts in a certain way. We never said to let China international order or to strengthen joint imperial projects like the uh, war on terror. Yes, it's as well saturated with discourse saying China is responsible. The app does not do that. We haven't said to incorporate China into a harmonious global order to carry out a limited accommodation. Uh, the Taiwan link. We never said people get murdered. That was ridiculous in cross No, phys- There's no physical reunification, which means that uh, China can't control Taiwan for even 11 nations that were previously symbolic reunification for any political military presence on the island. This company dismissed as incredible China's willingness to uh, tolerate different political economic orders that shape both in Hong Kong uh, and, and Hong Kong and Macau. We also don't sanction the Uyghur genocide. We can say, we can do both. We can say that uh, we shouldn't uh, contain China and that we shouldn't endorse uh, the, the Uyghur violence. Full, fully in picture of voting issue. They steal the app and uh, debunk the debate making debate ourselves. Education uh, that's a voter for fairness uh, and, edu- and education. The Bishop Carter affirming survival does not devalue life. Life is complex and valuable and can be celebrated even when it seems oppressive. Fast and tense. Rival and ethical faith for reflection and action. No normative uh, prejudices when generalized 
to an undifferentiated collection of social facts, surprise, social issues, uh, the limited legitimacy, force and action, people live under domination, manage tactics that turns, uh, form their life. If this turns into a death bad okay, we have not made any uh, overarching arguments about death, just that, uh, we, vi we think biological life is a prerequisite to any forms of value in the world. The fractal policing argument is their burden to draw a line between reducing arms sales to Taiwan and bolstering global policing. This is obviously not true. They said, uh, they said, that their evidence said that we, they, they have themselves said that leads to war, so it's a double counter against they conceptualize war in a way that they critique. And we have, uh, used this argument about war to justify a drawdown on demilitarization. We do not, uh, you should not disaggregate the link from what, uh, the plan does. There's no impact to the K. This Barnes 15 about line remains Iraq is a cautionary tech about the limits to use power. One man can then use responsibility to the variation should uh, be more true. Spartan stationing, playing inside the question of never in a copy. There's little evidence the American public could be sourced as possible. Use power is limited, but the necessity of creating sustaining, uh, domestic support. There is a reveal financial limits to use freedom of action. There's little taste to do so for another large scale uh, intervention. The alternative fails. Either, if, if it is a move to, uh, lack of transparency, we have impact from that on case and with the Jones piece of, uh, piece of evidence. A vague, vague ulcer bad and they incentivize the next to shift their FC throughout the debate, which undermines the and fairness and evacuates the revolution eventual of their strategy and their K is a double term Valenti 85. The call to get transgression that goes to this evidently chaotic, uh, chaotic sense of the time form now flows to the limit face the limits of thought divisions and almost the mythical overthrow of the code cooptation around this uh, option on probable. These terms can only appear in a new hierarchy. The symbolic object over term is the anti productive or reify is that which itself not familiar life, but you reviable and it's important to the uh, uniform but you're a source that keeps no biology and see this concrete reality and in doing so approves the code doubly uh, inescapable and simulations are not all encompassing. That's his uh, 91 uh, simulacra and many of these are scarce invisible. Other every existing simulation has boundaries that distinguish it, even with the boundaries of simulation may have shown attractability often breaks in. I'm um, going often breaks in. Could do multiple things. It can a combine our forms of scholarship, incorporate alternative versions. Okay, of so let's talk about that. B, okay. Like, That's let's the start with the first stuff. Okay. How is it possible to combine the two scholarships? Like, well, we think we, we've, like? we've read that the cars that defend methodological pluralism, i.e., no, combining I, like, different methods sure, sure. to I, I understand that. I guess, like, how does a combination of the one ACs and the alternatives research project? I think a good, a good example is like war can be a thing in the Taiwan Strait. You have no evidence that speaks otherwise. Non-war can be a thing outside the Taiwan Strait, but you do have evidence. Okay, so let's talk about the next sub point. So you were like methodological frozen. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's another thing. On a literal scale, we think the affirmative is a good idea. We think the affirmative is a good idea. We read cards from. Uh, we read cards in the context of representation, saying that kind of working through the policy details undergirding Taiwan and China's relationship is a good complement to representational critique. Okay, that's fine. That's a certain folk regard the one I see. Uh, the Hobbes evidence, like what is the war in this? For what the time? Hobbes evidence is a argument against uh, your reconception of war as involving simulation. It says that that's violent because it erases concrete determinants and social structures that wait, do wait, create what? forms of violence. It erases what? There, we think there, there are concrete determinants of war. We think there are like physical aspects of war that the alternative might ignore. Like what? In, uh, like oh, in, in the context of this debate, you've made arguments. Uh, oh, your reje a rejection of a concept, the concept of war as a militarized conflict and saying it involves other things. We've critiqued that frame. Hobbes Why said, is saying war involves other things? Well, we, no, we agree war involves other things. We're saying that the argument Hobbes is making is that your reconception of war, a way, your reconception of war as involving simulation is specifically bad. Okay, that's fine. The, uh, I also want to talk about the Jones evidence. Like, what does winning that like valid descriptive understandings of the world do for the app? Like, it's a counter theory of power. So like you said, okay. it operates through the will to transparency. We say it operates through enigma, through obfuscation of truth. What? So our argument is that there's an elite interest to kind of mystify claims to positivism and to truth. Which is something the 1AC said. When yeah. we, we've made claims about the seeding of politics to right-wing defense planners and need to reclaim those things. We think Jones is a defense of the affirmative's attempts right. to kind of uh, demystify those defense planning situations and that's fine. pursue counter hegemonic. Uh, sure, what's state. the difference between like physical unification and symbolic unification? Uh, symbolic unification, as Freeman outlines it, as Gilly outlines it, is that China might have nominal control or Taiwan might be a uh, not an island base for China or the US, but a uh, not a satellite state, but a more 
a less threatening state okay, to okay, China. Okay. Well, it does not involve China like, literally going onto the island, killing the censors, and controlling. Uh, how does the app retool scenario planning? Uh, the, we've used it towards counter hegemonic ends. We've made arguments as to how debate can be a site for combating the failures of violent conservative foreign policies. And fair play should be seen through that lens. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, so what is the What's the warrant in this card for why the critique is a double turn? Which card? The, 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 uh, the argument is like if the simulacrum is so over coding that it like intercepts you know meaning and then retools them, the all will also.
Can you say yes or no, please? No. Uh, the orders to critique, the first words I will say is framework. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Oh, I won't say framework, but the first argument I will answer is framework. <laughs> no over here. Or is anybody not ready? Cool. Debate is not policy making. It's a rhetorical field oversaturated in violent ideology that's merely the subset of a larger world. Even if they win that the link applies to one out there and proves that their political analysis are racist and violence intrinsic to this speech, which means that they can't sell their offense and it's an introduction to the What Is He's Speech Act that gets us unique. This is fine to the spit of arms that's supposed to be coherent through semiotic repetition internalized, which means you have to prioritize the epistemological implications of our offense prior to the post impacts of the plan supposedly resolves. You should remember that moment in What Is He cross So why debate is good is because it coalesces a group of people that are empathetic about their disclosure. We prove a specific link to the app and why it creates bad subject positions, you should both negative counter to that what is he's an object study, the role of the negative should be able to disprove the scholarship that is produced by the object desire, really the plan begs the question of what we desire, which is the question of your values, which only we control because we've impacted our plan focus, it's bad, it disincentivizes new ones by filtering the debate through a 10 second statement, the negative should be able to neg negate the affirmative the totality by questioning why you arrive and determines the plan is inherently good, only our interpretation produces the best model of intellectual engagement in the context of international cooperation, which is the education that benefits our interference, not unfair, we've indicted the scholarship you've read, you should hold them to the eight minutes of ideological uh, you know, of the uh, majority of the one I see you should be able to impact on otherwise we see it the app functionally conditional because they jettison half their epistemological defense even if they have infinite potential interpretations for Mercury have infinite prep so it's a necessary check too if, even if it's slightly unfair you should hold them accountable for winning our linked arguments your scholarship rooted in a colonial matrix and an axe because racial population depriving of that is good in this instance there's clash recording your evidence and impact turning it then what you're supposed to defend this is why our is necessary to clash because you skirt negative carrying out by reducing to focus on a plan nothing we do in debate feels on a one-to-one -one ratio and the world outside these walls, but how we speak and research does exchange the way we approach other issues about cannot new will the American privacy into existence, but it can serve as a referendum on the ass discursive framework of his much as a power focus to policy concrete strategy because before we can decide how to best approach the world, we must first analyze the conditions of military in them a prior and make it possible in the first place. For example, kissing your liberals both when it's put against and one because the problems of American power, the other because the necessary combat and political control. Their framework assume that both sides are the same because you can analyze the epistemological coordinates that distinguish between the two, the logic circuits, the ability to even use scenario analysis because they focus on the totalizing picture, whereas our model makes to be a question of terms and methods that we arrive to use the end goal. They say scenario planning will explicitly be answered by the one in our system space on your flow. The, the extinction outweighs. I'll do the link to make here, which will answer. First is the hot holistic cosmology, like harmony subscribes to a concept of all under heaven that seeks to pass by otherness into discourse of peaceful cohibition. This presence of concept in Chinese ire reinforces the worldview of attacks on the coerces, indigenous, and pre capitalist structure and submission. The less the desire eradication. We have quotes that here evidence says that China is pursuing hegemony in East Asia, but not an exclusive hostile hegemony. The Chinese have long recognized the utility and the benefits of China itself of U.S. engagement with the region receptive to a peaceful coexistence. China is not trying to impose a political economic system on its neighbors. The tag of the Gilead evidence says, quote, it reserve, reverses perceptions of containment. And the evidence says, quote, respecting China's territorial integrity. Their desire for harmony to improves the East and West are no longer adversarial, but have shifted towards cooperation to engage in shadow uh, warfare to stop the independence and judicious movements to, that manifest disassembled to Chinese elites. They, this is proven by the last piece of evidence that says the U.S. and China are no longer squaring off in pre mortal context between good and evil, but have co habituated, which shows that how U.S. and China relations are conceived in terms of distance and space. The one he sees convening of the two establishment empire that necessarily produces and excluded the other harmony who is told to become more like us as a harmonious leaders, engage in purism, rejuvenates neo-colonial power by expropriating and invisibilizing the war in the global south that's proven by a first piece of Norton evidence that says you cannot separate desire for the one China policy, i.e. the imagining of China and Taiwan as one unit that desire har harmonization. Our second piece of Norton evidence says that it results in Western violence. Our evidence uh, cites a Chinese incorporation as an actor in the war on terror, which proves the argument of warfare in the 21st century that ally and enemy have completely reversible as military and economic rivals linked China to redirect it toward a common enemy like terrorism. History is on our side. Intel sharing over the movements of the sino afghan border, Chinese mine clearance of police training for Afghan security forces, $150 million pledged to reconstruction of Afghanistan. All this happens under the banner of security dilemmas, which proves the argument that an IR alone no longer functions through realist agonism, but rather a global network of exchange and cooperation. That's the Oberg evidence that goes drop. They have zero theory of power that explains otherwise. It even just says a bunch of nonsense in cross -ex. It's not explained any of our examples. All this means that the plan becomes an impetus through which col colonial ambition is carried out. This results in state crackdowns and supposedly evil groups like China's Muslim Uyghur population or this export in the Middle East or economic sanctions and supposedly backward cultures in the periphery that devastate the poor, create the instability and get black and brown people in the global south murdered proven by China's forwarding of one belt, one road. Then it should have quite literally propping up factors work on the African content. The impact is extinction globalism continues to eradicate through threat and its attempt to liquidate the social harbor. Those 
Mod modes of life strike back, blowback from terrorism, revolutions against neoliberal economic structures, the sanction conflict within the boundary. This outweighs any one AC scenario which answers extinction that way. If we win, harmony secures itself through eradicating the global south over time, it sacrifices more bodies in a one off war. The perfection of the system of ethics normalizes the murder of the periphery, justifies any atrocity because we sanitize the death and mass in space. Also, while pissed mode can never spill up to resolve their scenarios, but it can reject colonial investments. And the steps go, they say permutation, you both say some space on your flow. That'll be the one hour. They say the critique can't explain the app. No, Aiden, you can't explain the app. One AC cross X was devastating. They don't have a reason for why. Taiwan doesn't want to be integrated or a reason why China wants Taiwan. We have said that it's based in confusion values of harmony. The reason they want to do so is based on a desire for balance which can never be achieved because for in order there to be balance there has to be an opposition. That opposition is inherently not able to resolve those who don't prescribe to those values in the first place, i.e. those in Taiwan. It's not a generic state bad, okay? but we have described that your part process of reunification is bad because it's not a question of Taiwan good bad, but the global process of liquidation, the epistemology, the you justify. They say warfare is miscalculated. They conceded our, bish, our, our first piece of our northern evidence that says that warfare is now pre-calculated, i.e. deterrence works so well that it gives rise to new forms of shadow warfare, i.e. forms of non-war that exist only because of the fact that we know we won't go to nuclear war, but we can create the security dilemma to believe to believe so. So in times of peace, we're like, look, nothing is happening, but it's literally the murder of population proven by things like humanitarian bombing never being seen as war in the first place. The Hobbes evidence, they concede the first piece of evidence that we've read there. Evidence conflate simulation with unreality arguments. It's, it's not that warfare has intact an unpredictable clash between two adversaries does not occur. One, or, uh, the first piece of evidence cites Baudrillard that says the fact that a war has morphed in simulation does not make it any less flying. The flesh suffers the same. The Obergevin described a shift from the adversarial stances of IR towards international cooperation that was above. Hobbes says, quote, we must force our voices into public sphere by providing better, more vicarious accounts of knowledge. However, politics precedes the actuality of war itself. People don't know why they're against or for war. This is proven by Republicans voted to wage war against a fake country in Aladdin. They say the uh, Norton evidence is answered by arms sales for the U.S. being good. Wrong. We said that we, the U.S. and China have converged to a process of global liquidation, which doesn't justify the alternative. They say China is not violent. Bullshit. All our evidence cites the thousands of deaths that China has committed in the name of keeping Taiwan. The February 28th massacre, the separatists just randomly disappear and families being killed. Your denial of saying that war, that violence doesn't happen is fucked up. The next argument about Booth, we're obviously just a question of a research paradigm. We can't, it's not a question of one-to-one -one correlation, i.e. the one I see cross-ex, but it comes through an entire Interrogation of our processes. We're not a state bad critique, but the question of praxis, and we think that we have a specific link to your app that proves that your form of IR is bad. They say valid description of the world of Jones evidence. They're called for reclaiming positivism. The guys to conceal violence in the global south. Those forms of violence are not deemed rational under harmonious systems, and so they are ignored. This is proved by China and the US focus on positives of the Ober initiative while paving over the literal colonization of Africa because relationality the benefits outweigh the eradication. Jones says, quote, dominant groups have vested interest in mystifying the way society works. This is exactly our argument. We internally link to turn this offense because the prioritization of harmony mis mystifies. It's colonial roots. They say all or nothing discourse is unit and, uh, and unification. It doesn't assume you have a specific link to your rhetoric within this round. They say not the physical reunification. It, they can see that violence is literally happening now. All those examples are probably proved that they legitimize this because they say this in terms of peace and China won't invade, but they literally post have wipe out every separatist group, which is not answered in the in the one AC cross -text. So we get to say what happens now to pick the bishop evidence. It's a question of pre-calculated warfare. We haven't said it's not a death bad critique. The double turn arguments, we have not gone for generic arguments of Baudrillard being meaning impossible, communication possible, or science which she takes out the next two arguments not being off because the one error will answer. Uh, you good? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, framework, we've said you can read critiques of epistemology and scholarship as long as you weigh it against the AF. Do we disagree on that? Yes. Okay. Uh, the You said we ignore violence in this space in your overview. How does the alt solve that? Uh, well, we think that the alternative is an interrogation behind the assumptions. You can see a uniqueness came in the alternative evidence that says harmony contains the seed of its own destruction, okay. which means that... Okay, how do you solve violence in this round? Yeah, that's what I'm okay. explaining. But harmony contains the seeds of its own destruction, which means the process of making links, the process of interrogating and finding the hidden value between harmony supposedly being peaceful, supposedly okay. being beneficial, okay, is the process of stopping uh, and creating ethical harmony, subjects that are able to... Is harmony to worse than hostility? Explain. Uh, is, uh, is, I guess I guess this comes back to the app. Is containing China better than accommodating China? Well, our argument is that in the status quo, the United States and the China have sort of worked together on a process of global liquidation. Yeah, that's happening now. Why does the app make yeah, that you, worse? Yeah, and can you describe like what the relationship between U.S. and China would be like in the world at all? Like yeah. actually, what would yeah. like like what do you okay? How does how do the U.S. Like, how do the U.S. and it's China? Like your scholarship has said that we should allow separatist groups in Taiwan who are currently fighting yeah, for their lives to be succumbed. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a question of in debate how we unravel our assumptions. Okay, You're I, I guess we've made process. arguments as to how we need to use debate to pursue realistic well, that's, uh, so strategies that was, that was for specific. Answering one specific. It's like it's not a question of this plan good bad, but it's a question I know, of how okay, our it's okay, sure, it's our epistemology. How does the alt or in its epistemology because that, that's what I'm saying. That. In the process of interrogating harmony, discovering its roots, discovering that the seed of its destruction lies in its own being, allows us to understand okay, so and does find the values does of the, harmony. So does or does the alt not endorse a status quo of containment policy? Well, it's it's a question of like this debate. We've made it. Okay, sure. But have, okay. So should we orient our epistemology towards containing China? Con like, explain. We think that we should not orient ourselves to a world in which we allow. But what should we? You keep you, you're saying a lot of negatives. What should we do? It, like, well, I understand that, about epistemology. Okay, that was, How that should was, we all orient ourselves towards China? That was the argument that I made China? on the Booth evidence. That's like your idea that there needs to be a concrete one-to-one -one correlation between the alternative and what happens is bad. Well, no, that's not what we said. That that in broad terms, well, how does that the alt or think that our China? orientation of voting negative is an endorsement of a research practice that okay, constantly but, interrogates assumptions and allows okay. us to come to the but conclusion. But what does of the that? Best what conclusion is? Well, that? that's like just like harmony is bad. Is the harmony is the bad? What is good? We think that you. What, what's the alternative? Well, Wait, what? We said you've done something fucked up, you should lose. Okay, we like should, that's like, okay, it's like ridiculous to say, well, okay, we've so, done something fucked so up, but you can't solve it. It's like, no, you've actively been racist, you've actively been colonialist, you should lose. You said separatist groups should die. Sure, if, I don't think we've ever said that. If China's evil, why should the U.S. be imperialist towards them? Why is that a good way to solve that? Wait. You've made arguments as to how China is bad. Why the US should the United States is also bad? Yes, but why? But you, your, uh, your critique has to no, implicitly like endorse to some debate, extent the ability of the in U.S. The to space debate, we should not endorse projects that okay, allow for harmony. Uh, I think. Transparency arguments will be answered by the overview because it's not a question of whether it's not a question of necessarily scrambling semiotics, which also takes out the double try argument because it's the beginning it presumes that the alternative trying to transgress something, but rather it's not a question of any of their communication index. The simulation back card is terrible and cut too early. Obviously, the sort of different textures of violence, which was sort of answered by head of the two and C, but it all over you will probably clarify a lot of this and prove that it's not necessarily made. I'll do the overview now. The affirmative center is a harmonious U.S. center relationship as the sum of good for arms all this place. The harmonious idea has a fixed grid of meaning that paves over its messiness, justice, growth, this right as a benefit to the body and told cancer enters the conversation of harmony is positive as a vaccine to the diplomatic world where it easily becomes another pathogen collapsing inwards on itself is a form of necropolitical terror, i.e. all the northern examples of that terror campaigns waged against Uyghurs and not conformist in the name of homogenous orders, booty negative wrenches, harmony from traditional readings that propped up by the F grafting into other traits of signification that unveil the violence that's intense. It's not a question of transgression, but rather harmony is a mask for war. By other means available cooperation that's only maintained through the annihilation of the other the one and see spotlights the evil laden within their scholarship. Our link arguments are a process of double reading, which takes out any of their 
offense of the alternative because they tease out how the logic of harmony works against itself as a means of undermining their global order. Only we access internal link to ethical subject formation because we spotlight how peace in the foreground correlates with violence in the background. Lucidity in his lucidity that their model can produce outweighs any offense they can go for. It's also a radicalization on their scenario and also offense. The Barma evidence that they read from the 1AC says, quote, the power of scenarios lies in their ability to help individuals break out of conventional moods of thinking this epistemic break is only facilitated by us where they remain complacent within the codes of harmony which we've impacted in uniqueness. Our theory of power grants us a uniqueness claim that makes winning an alternative unnecessary but also go for it. The Norton evidence says harmony contains the seeds of its own destruction. The harmonic order produces its own excesses that undermine it. It is dissolving now because every call for order correlates with covert violence which sparks reactionary insurrections. Ex-social media based human rights campaigns spawned from the occupation of Xinjiang or how Chinese protesters are tearing down facial recognition tells which are a part of Chinese social merit system that reward conformists and hotspot transgress that fantasizing about a global order of peace which prevents us from crumbling it under its own weight proves the link to the affirmative. The order not only produces its own crisis, it attempts to retain legitimacy by claiming to confront these excesses and blaming anyone who doesn't as passive and docile. We jam the cocks of their political program and they seek to punish us for which the liquidation of otherness par excellence thus the Norton evidence. Their answers to the all should be read as a symptomatic of our link arguments instead of necessarily solving the definite and prove it just after the permutation. Go there now. The etiquette permutation is the one he has endorsed the backbones of harmony, which is proven on the link to babies that is absolutely antithetical and disproves any methodological pluralism of arguments. One is the harmonization, is that the permutation repeats the edicts of harmonies order and good hot sauce, points of alternative that must be pacified and reintegrated into the homogenous order, i.e., the world of cooperation forwarded by the Athens, mirrors China's one by one road initiative, which scripts subsistence farmers, ethnic minorities, and anti party affiliates of errors that must be folded into the system, meaning it bolsters our link arguments. Second, permutation means presumption. The alt declines of harmonic wishes of cooperation means US and of cooperation would be infeasible in a world where our methods are combinable. Third, is it supercharges our framework arguments of permutation? And postpones the deconstruction of harmony. It is a went to a model of plan focus and immediate severs. The main strong justifications makes it impossible to discern whether or not they have a harmonious investment because they can infinitely morph their strategy. Fourth is a pacification, is that the permutation is a synergetic operation. Over says it attempts to install in a pervious liberal order by scanning all singularities and recruiting them into the political program. The permutation points to an operative tempo that the alternative must catch up to, which generates how their now, now, now law of knowledge can only emerge through the containment of the other. The methodological pluralism makes absolutely no sense because we propose two theories that are antithetical. I'll explain the arguments here first in the context of non war. The one is was eight minutes in Taiwan war bad, which takes an active choice against the war, which we've impacted on because taking a choice in the war is what obscures the instances of norm war by a liquidation. Aiden's cross examination is most definitely severance, which is bad because it ignores how the form of the one informs its quality speeds and the one is most definitely in line with the harmonious Chinese policy where the also antithetical to it, which proves the methodological process and doesn't make any sense. Power stages its own murder in order to honor the of legitimacy. This implicates the permutation insofar as it is a concessive gesture that allegedly retreats from the violence of liberalism into the ethical potentials of the alternative. This is proven by how US military occupations of the Philippines upon being critiqued by public protests retreated into offshore balancing in order to retain public perception of how domestic military concessions are correlated with the augmentation of proxy states like Israel heightened the threshold for evaluating the permutation its communicative form just by shadow wars even if its content curtails those things proves that they only perfect the system of harmony by the permutation which we've impact on the link debate uh the scenario planning stuff we've impact on the reps of scenario planning because when they had exported their weaponized to colonize the future proven by shell oil companies that use it as a mechanism to deconstruct biases only to further expand into land and oceanic zones through drilling they have an answer or indirect scenario plan. The only thing that Tuisi says is not our Barma. Any link we want is an impact turn to their content because Harmony proves this and they don't need to say not our Barma because here's the recutting. Why do you see Barma 16? Good scenarios will not expose the cause of proposed propositions. For example, if you were to know the dramatic fall in oil prices, independent driving forces, such as declining conflicts in major and Middle Eastern oil producers, we all run well, all recognize the scenario trends that while scenario planning will blow, while scenario planning analysis played a role in more beginning and strategic planning, the real antecedents of contemporary practices are found in corporate futures. The F it's why to the non-war machine, the termination of ourselves from the interstate is a lifeblood of global exposure to the Shapiro and 42 say the one is against a specific war or even almost would be to acknowledge the reality of wars which have into virtuality opposition to a war seems to be based on assumption of a discursive viability of protecting oneself from the imagined states of China governor of truth speakers and power by democracy to make better decisions for the body holding than those who hold institutional power the anti-war sense seems to take for granted that we should try to clarify our policy by imagining the pre-national sentences in the choose of national strategies choosing government policy options. Bible! Uh, mark the card available.
Reducing arms sales to Taiwan, refuses military trust in Joseph China's containment, reducing the risk of global nuclear suffering. Claims that are not contested. The one I see is also part of a larger political project that uses our orientation in the space to research potentials of, of debate and to use this academic place to promote and progressive foreign policy visions, which the smoke that left a vacuum for that left its academic can fail through specific policies like the one I see every time that they cannot come up with the answer in context. What, what, uh, what should our relationship be? What policies should we adopt? Seize foreign policy to the right, which reproduces things like the war on terror, things like colonization of Africa and the global south, makes those things inevitable. Things like Philippine protesting are getting reconsolidated into different forms. The way to get through the door is specific policies. That's the way to check the war machine. That's the Brian F. This was like a minute of the 2AC and they say no words on this in the plot. The critique, there's no forced trade-off between scholarship in this space and violence outside of here. Our whole argument is that those two things are interrelated and that we should use this space to interrogate broader structures of power. Weigh the F against the all. Let's get a clash, which is uncontested impact. Clash over the long term allows us to break down dogma, makes us more ethical individuals and find true cleanse over the long term can make us do good and reduce suffering outside the space. An object of study is an arbitrary method with no objective metric of what is good and what is bad. There are infinite epistemological or representation critiques, but we root those around the consequence of the app. The plan focus leads to nuance because the rest of the, the, the one I see revolves around it. We have linked to an education. You can care our research. You can care epistemology. Our argument is that we just get to weigh the consequence of the app. That's the best middle ground because we use consequences to prove our research is good, which means we have internally turned to the clash argument. The ballot one round fails to do anything but clash over the long term, provided that we have app ground allows us to reorient ourselves. The scenario planning often so reality and Barbara doesn't say anything. Our argument is that the one, just because it's been used bad in the past, does not suggest that there's one telos of scenario planning, but rather is a retooling, i.e. Identifying cracks and fissures in institutions and then retooling them against themselves is something that is necessary for both academic scholars and advocates to be able to do. The alt scenario planning is a form of scenario planning insofar as it maps alternative futures, the Shapiro card. They link to this because they say the war on terror is bad, which is an objection against war. This begs the question of the theory debate, which will be below. The link, they have one of them, so I'll dump here the holistic cosmology of war. Our argument is that we do not assimilate, we do not cooperate, or we do not uh, try to bring China to the international order. We have said limited uh, accommodation is good because we think containment is bad, and we do think peace is good because we think suffering is bad. But that is different from endorsing shadow warfare, that is different from endorsing colonization. The, uh, the old thing, some form of harmony is good. They think harmony between Uyghurs and China is good. They think harmony between the global north and the global south is good, which proves limited harmony can be good. First, it's not unique. All their evidence says this is occurring now, which means that the app does not make it materially better. Two, the alt does not solve. They have no method to spill out to stop China from colonizing the global south. Three, this justifies bad stuff. The 2AC Singh evidence says that calling China colonialists exports, right, uh, exports and placing to the hands of the military industrial complex because it allows us to justify the war on terror and end colonization of Africa by saying, well, we're shutting out the 
Chinese mature worse than us, which is a material DA to their framing of China. Uh, and uh, fourth is that uh, they have said there's an internal link to extinction, but all their examples of the alternative and the impacts are lower level things. Things like intervention, those are bad, sure, they cause death, but we access global nuclear suffering. They drop the thesis of utilitarianism, which means we need some link defense, but there's no defense to the app. First, is that a VTL is subjective and contingent. War and being and literal biological death is a prerequisite to being. Two, war turns structural violence and exacerbates resource disparities and makes crackdown on the Uyghurs more effective, more likely because China has to project strength, which means we access their offense, but they don't access ours. Their historic, the historicity stuff, there are many different reasons that Taiwan wants a uh, control. They want access to the strait. They want fish. They want uh, the Navy to be able to go through the strait. Our argument is that there's not one universal model, and the idea that there is flattened social complexity into one plane, which is itself a form of violence. The theory of war stuff, first, deterrence doesn't work in the strait. It might be true overall, but we have hyper specific evidence that it will break down because of misperceptions. That's a Thomas evidence. Second, we've read a defense opposite of the uh, uh, uncertainty and the security dilemma says that it breaks down, it breaks down deterrence because there are misperceptions. Their theory of war is wrong in that war has become somewhat digitized, which is what their evidence said, but not to the extent that kind of it's all simulacrum or so deterministic that we can't solve it materially, which proves that the app makes a material stance against some forms of war. That's the Hobbes and the Hayes evidence. There is materiality to the strike, there is materiality to the submarines that are bombed, which proves that if we agree about that, then suffering is bad, and the internal link access is a material way to do that. Politics doesn't precede war. The fact that Republicans don't know about international uh, relations is a reason we should replace them, but the, the way to do that is through convincing other people, not through broad uh, critiques of the world. The Jones stuff, positivism is good. That was most of the stuff done on case, but they've come to the conclusion that Chinese colonization is bad through weighing costs and benefits, through things like demystifying colon colonialism, which is a quote from the 2NC, which proves that the only way to do that is kind of to dispel the enigma that the MIC purposely creates in order to obfuscate resistance, which is their Philippines example about denying truth. We never said wipe out separatist good. What a desperate grab for a link. We've read Freeman Evans about Taiwan. They have no evidence to substantiate any defense of this that says that China would not have control of Taiwan in the post and post time. So Taiwan would have autonomy, which means that they couldn't just get tortured. The alternative, it's a double term. They said limited harmony was good. That's above. If limited harmony is good, then the ass limited higher harmony in the Taiwan Strait can be good without us endorsing harmony globally. Second, there's no spill. That was above. To the extent that harmony is good or harmony is bad, what should we replace it with? Our argument is that we need to retool those foreign policies and kind of the idea that the international order is going to collapse inevitably. One, they have no kind of warrant for this. What are the material resources that are going to run out? Just because they're protests doesn't mean the LIO is going to collapse. Two, even if it's going to collapse, what should we replace it with? That is a question that the alt does not give you, but it will be filled by the right applicable plan.
Okay. Cool. You are voting negative on the holistic cosmology link. The one he sees investment with harmonious collectivity is a challenge to you. Not a challenge to colonial vines, but in perfection. You should read the one he sees not as a policy that achieves a noble notion of peace, but as showing up Chinese nationalistic tendencies that get people in the periphery murdered. The true fear of China losing Taiwan is not that it's critical to strategic ability or power projection, but because it sets a precedent of independence. The fear of Taiwan declaring independence morphs into the fear of border regimes like Tibet, Xinjiang declaring independence, robbing China of the ability to continually exploit these populations. Our evidence cites Chinese incorporations as the actor in the war on terror. Those were the two and the impact examples that went conceded the concept of harmony as such as one that seeks the eradication of contradiction which mobilizes the eradication of those who do not fit within the Han majority. Similarly, it expands quotidian bones of violence that cracking down on dissidents, suppressing ethnic minorities, blocking words online, all which country epistemology of colonial science that you should reject this massively outweighs the app. Three warrants ago dropped one. Debate isn't real or discursive. In impact the only thing your ballot can reject that every time notice that every time we bring up examples of violence under harmony, their answer is that extinction outweighs the plan that allows the app to use the specter of extinction to map to acting reproduction of violence. It's a performative proof of our link argument. Second is constant interventions, economic sanctions, racial policing, domestic violence, over and over in the global south by racist hegemons stack up to end this body's more killed more than a one-off war. You shouldn't give them infinity. Third is accepting genocide of violence as a necessary cause locks in the epistemology that sacrifices and normalizes violence in everyday. That is an indict of you till that militarizes subjectivity and makes wars inevitable, which makes the pursuit of a gem self-defeating because they lock in the most hyper-aggressive racist overreaching forms of harmony that creates its own inevitable collapse through the eradication of bodies that are deemed necessary to support China and the U.S. nation states. The impact framing at the top, every one of our link arguments prove that even if policymaking and political engagement could be good in the abstract, your specific mobilization and defense of it is definitely not. The impact is that debaters mobilize the framing of violence as their normal interpersonal lives and causes violence within debate. Debate does not do anything else besides offer us a set of rhetorical tools to make sense of the world we impact on their discourse, which is the only material impacts that come out of debate because you should evaluate before there's just imaginations of solvency. The very debate proper counter the one I see is an object of study. We do not condemn to reduce clash down. We've read specific quotes of your one I see evidence, but we say that you should be held responsible for your epistemology and rhetoric prior to the plan because you don't solve the plan. You should remember one I see cross X when Aiden's only answer to why debate was valuable because it allows us to mobilize subjects and create empathy for those collective organizations. There does not have one end goal. It does not solve the app, but mobilize it for the international relations. We are not a generic state bad case. We are not a generic IR bad case, but the way that they posit the harmonious relation between Taiwan and saying, look, they won't get murdered because they're in the periphery is actively bad because it leads to death. The black and brown bodies, they say clash in the long term it is better. Our object study still allows you to clash in the long term because we can still use the rest of the 1EC to do so, but your epistemological backings go first. They've conceded the Kissinger and Liberals example, i.e. they both wanted the same thing, but the way that they describe their epistemological backings produces the consequences of the plan or it impacts the consequences of our plan, i.e. they both wanted to pull out Afghanistan, but the way that they thought and conceptualized it is the impact which proves that our role, our, 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 framing, our framework of the round comes first because it influences the way the policy go down and they don't solve their specific policy in the first place. The scenario planning offense, a, we are not a generic, he is right, the all map scenario planning, but we're not a generic scenario planning bad, but imagining that Taiwan and China resist in harmony is bad. The link arguments proper were done above on the overview, but it's, it's they've said peace is good, gives us the link to our critique, i.e. the form of peace, i.e. saying that when they were in terms of peace, there is no such thing as war is bad because it obscures the forms of non-war that occur, i.e. the deterrence works too well as it drops argument from the 2 and see there is no incentive for nuclear weapons, but the, the idea that they construct threats, it gives war life to the non-war because they have seen as the things like humanitarian bomb and bombings not be considered war. They say they all cannot solve this. They can see that the harmony can see the seeds of its own destruction, i.e. voting negative is an interrogation between the very basis for how harmony conceptions itself. It opens up to a new research practice that allows us to create international relations that are more ethical and produce better outcomes. So the international, the state is not bad, which subsumes a lot of their offense, but we create better ethical subjects that don't literally result in the death of black and brown bodies. They say China is colonialist in the world on terror. They've conceded or warned that the East and West have converged i.e. they are in working and harmonious to liquidate the other, which answers this argument that value to life stuff was answered above on the util debate. They say determines that deterrence breaks down. We have read a broad evidence that says that in the context of post-9-11, deterrence works too well. They've not contested our theory of power of war and non 
more, which means they don't get to in the two years. The permutation proper. What does it mean to permute a research project? They have no explanation of what we've lived in harmony, but we've impacted a level of form. They can see the harmonization. They said the permutation hotspot points of later that pass by and reintegrate in a homogeneous order that prove the world in the first place. They say positivism is good, and we just demystify the system. Our argument is that we must understand the coordinates of the system before we interrogate the very assumptions. And there were please. 745. Um, they usually announce who's going to be in the finals. So, yeah, just out there. Questions. And then, yeah. I think she said, like, I think I saw the control was off or something. 530 yes. or something. I think it's there at like 530. Yeah, okay. Or 6 or something.
The app is a specific form of a progressive foreign policy that reduces the risk of global nuclear fallout and moves away from a racist, militarized conception of China. The case debate was again dropped in the two and the we should use debate to hash out the consequences of progressive foreign policies in order to take the military industrial complex back from the Trumpian right. That is something we can do and they have not given any defense to our ability to do. Two impacts to this, two impacts, uh, to this go can see. At some point, as we get to weigh the app, mapping out specific material and detailed consequences is the only way to get our foot in the door of the military establishment, so considering the results of policies is necessary to that spill of we said is valuable. That is a disadvantage to their framework that solely prioritizes uh, broad research paradigms because they fail to gain traction or to persuade people that who actually matter. That's Brian and Dex. This impact turns every time the two on our system. It's only a question of our rhetoric and tools in this space. We should use formal policy research to channel something greater than ourselves and look outside of the sphere. Uh, we call in the question the binary between rhetoric and consequences because we should consider both uh, when we're mapping ethical action, but their sole consideration of of this round and within debate is bad. We said once the cross section of the app might not occur, but that matching different policies and their consequences allows us uh, to work toward reshaping uh, U.S. militarism. The subpoint B is that the second impact is the alternative fails terminally. The one they are explicitly said the refusal to give detailed visions of how the world uh, works and how China relations should look uh, means evil foreign policy technocrats who know what they're doing will co-opt the alt and stop it from influencing for U.S. foreign policy. That means the alt's rejection of the political tools of power sanctions the war on terror and makes intervention inevitable especially when the 2 and cross is about two minutes of head saying, I don't know uh, what the alternative does, the critique proper, the, uh, the, the critique proper, the, into, the top of the top of the debate, about the top of the interview about a uh, debate not being real was answered uh, on case. We agree We agree that the app doesn't actually exercise. We're agnostic about whether or not our cells get reduced, but uh, identifying the specific consequences of policies make us more ethical and orient us towards activism for uh, the right things. The next two arguments are a critique of utilitarianism. They can see the uh, foundational logic of it. They all lies are axiomatically equal, uh, that, that we should reduce... Uh, uh, reduce overall, uh, we should reduce overall suffering. The, uh, if, if it's misused, that's not a reason that we should evacuate it. Uh, next is that the any other logic is tautological. They, uh, their impact, the reason war on terror is bad is based on how it su causes suffering, which means that uh, the utilitarianism as it, as it uh, conceptualizes the nuclear war is outweighing everything is important. We should debate about which impacts outweigh the other ones to d decrease the net amount of suffering. The link debate proper, they're going for the G politics DA. Even if they win this link, our impact outweighs, which you explained on the util debate above because they don't access a uh, global extinction. They have no reason, they have no evidence it does first. It, uh, argument that there is no internal link. We can say that the weaker genocide is bad, and also the containment industry is bad. This is proven by the fact that they think limited instances of harmony is good, i.e. between China and the Uyghurs, or between the global north and south, which is uh, conceptualized when they say uh, that there should not be conflict in a situation. Second, this is the logic of the right, which recreates their impacts. It's the same logic as the U.S. defense foreigners saying we should intervene in Africa and recolonize it, because China's worse, and they'll cause worse impacts. Or from, oh, it's the same logic of the Cold War, that we should prop up military dictatorships in Latin America, because the Soviet communism is so, so much worse. Third, is that this is this is determinately non unique. Uh, the war on terror is occurring now. They have the, the practical policing is occurring now. The app does not make it worse. Those things are awful, but uh, we should we should uh, voting app does reduce the net amount of suffering because uh, there's no way the alternative can uh, solve those things, even if they, even if they have some union structure for reading the uh, when they see uh, the fourth that the alternative cannot spill up. How did they stop the war on terror? How did they uh, stop practical policing? The two it uh, see cross did not say how other than individual orientation in this round, which we have impact during the con uh, the conception uh, the conception of the framework debate proper, you should weigh the affirmative against the alternative that solves all the negative offense with an external impact of clash. Uh, first is that all the reasons we did on case is a reason that uh, is a justification of weighing the app that outweighs. That was explained above. Uh, but clash is good. It's going to orient ourselves ethically toward the world. Uh, breakdown dogma. Uh, it leads to more effective forms of education and engaged in test, engaged in test theories. It turns their offense because the only way we can ever learn about the critique and come to realize that their theory of the war is correct is, and harmony is correct is by uh, debating uh, those consequences. Our, the art framework is a middle ground that solves that. Uh, there's no two in our offense as to why, uh, as the way that the why the weighing the plan is bad, just that epistemology is good, which our interpretation allows for. They say imagination and discourse. That was above. Uh, that was above. You can critique discourse, but if in the case of epistemology exists, it means we inevitably crowds out class. The only way we justify uh, the one AC scholarship is through uh, the consequences of it, which means that they crowd out all that. I mean, at least the worst forms of education. Uh, the, uh, this link, you, you link, you lose logic, evacuates debates. A radical potential that I explained above. They say it's bad to say Taiwan people, Taiwanese people should be murdered. We did not. This is just grasping for a link and exaggerating 
saying, oh, what the one he said is, uh, uh, it's a move towards the, the demilitarization in East Asia. They say, oh, we, they still access long-term process of class. That's not true. We, we still have consequences important above. They might access a model for this one debate and why it's ethical, but not a long-term process of justification. The Kissinger argument, we allow it. You can critique Kissinger's justification. You just have to prove it outweighs, uh, outweighs the, yeah, the deterrence argument. It does not solve in the straight. We've heard specific evidence that China will navally blockade the Talmud. Talmud says that the terms breaks down because they'll see the U.S. as first striking them. Uh, we first striking them for specificity is the name of the game here. Uh, the war process was not a huge part of the two. And our, everyone agrees there are some digitized parts, but we should conditionally prevent warfare. Good day. Good day. Good day. Quite good, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.